get to the mechanical chronographs. Um, is there still, in, in your experience, is there still a scarcity with this? Are they starting to catch oh, up with demand? No. Or what's well, there is, I mean, Tim, I don't know. I think we talked about this before. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's sad, but the, the 31 caliber movement isn't made anymore. So, I mean, if you're, when you're looking at the, at the few we're bringing in now with the 31 caliber chronograph movement, um, I, this is one of those things, Russia has gone through so many changes and those of us who do business with Russia and have been involved with them are not happy about a lot of them and certainly um, not pleased with a lot of the things the government has been doing and unfortunately the people are not the government and the people I do business with are, are you know, they don't represent that. Um, it's gotten really difficult if you're not producing oil or gas in Russia to, uh, to, to do a lot of things. Part of why the Vostok movements are more expensive because doing business in Russia has become so expensive. Um, and unfortunately, that became, that became the demise of the 31 caliber movement. Uh, the company stopped making them because they, they, they just couldn't do it in that, in that economic environment in Russia. So when you see me bring out a mechanical chronograph with the 31 caliber, if you want to get an immediately collectible watch, and have the opportunity to have the 31 in your in your collection and you haven't had it before you need to grab it especially in under six hundred dollars they're just not out there anymore i mean this is just an amazing deal on this this is the p7 it's named for uh the rocket that sent yuri gagarin into space uh it is built on the classic strela case uh the original uh strela means uh arrow in russian uh this is the case design that was commonly used for the strelas um, so, yeah, it's a sad thing, but uh, that unfortunately they're not making that movement anymore. So, yeah, scarcity is, uh, it doesn't get any more scarce than this. Which makes it obviously all the more exciting at 578. Yes. It, it, again, to, to recap what, what Craig is, is, is referring to, because this is very keen, legitimate information for you guys. The engine in this is no longer made. Now, right. by the way, to, to head of off, I was so going to say, sure uh, parts have been taken care of. Yes. Craig actually has Russian watchmakers. Years. I have a Russian that, watchmaker here in the U.S. Unlikely yeah. event that you'll need help. You're, you're, yeah. you're covered. Don't worry about that. But, you know, part of what I think is so cool about this is that it is, um, from the moment, the moment you have this in your hands in the next few days, it is instantaneously collectible. Yep. Uh, there is very few, and I think if you watch me for a while, you'll, you'll agree on this point. Uh, I don't say that about very many watches. No, I, I will sometimes I. point out collectability for scarcity or for color and potential later, but I will not tell you that something is immediately and instantaneously collectible unless it truly is. And this one truly is. If for no other reason, then immediately you have a mechanical chronograph engine that is no longer being built. Yep. It is a finite source for any amount of money. This will come to an end. All right. Uh,